water and I am the clay mold me and make me after thy will while I Out of discouragement and frustration, you know, often come beautiful songs of surrender and beautiful songs that uh, encourage the human heart. And uh, I just want to welcome you today to Living Supernaturally. We're doing a series called Inspiration, Songspiration, and we're looking at hymns and songs of yesteryears. This song was written by Adelaide Pollard, who was uh, born in Iowa in 1862. Um, she grew up and she felt that she had a call, uh, a missionary call and for a missionary service and she prepared herself for a teaching um, a career but she felt led to go to the African continent and to minister in those nations um, but for her the, uh, getting the funds that were required was a very big challenge and she, it, she tried her best and it seemed quite impossible to get the money that was required to go there, to travel there and minister. So she was frustrated, she was weary uh, from trying and striving uh, to raise funds. Um, so she went for a, uh, she attended a small prayer meeting one night and to just uh, sit quietly in the presence of God. So it was a blessing for her to sit quietly and to just receive the word and listen to what was being shared um, and in this uh, prayer meeting, there was a very elderly woman who prayed out loud and spoke to God and with all sincerity and Adelaide Pollard was uh, listening to how she was praying and it was, it was very different from uh, her prayer, her own prayers. Um, instead of um, you know, going to God and asking and pleading to God for, her, for the needs, um, this elderly woman prayed the simple prayer and she prayed like this, it said, she said uh, to the Lord, it really doesn't matter what you do with us, Lord, just have your way in our lives. And so uh, this prayer really did something to Adelaide Pollard's heart. And she felt new peace, new hope and new strength. And she knew that the Lord would take care. So she went home that night and um, she opened the Bible to Jeremiah chapter 18, that beautiful picture, that incident of the Lord asking Jeremiah to go to the potter's house and watch uh, that powerful display of shaping, the Lord shaping and uh, making something beautiful out of that clay. And she read that and uh, inspired by this, she went on to write a poem and uh, it, uh, and before she could uh, sleep, she wrote four stanzas of uh, this beautiful hymn, Have Thine Own Way, Lord, Have Thine Own Way, because You are the potter and I am the clay. And have Thine Own Way, Lord, Have Thine Own Way. Search me and try in me, a master today. Wider than snow, Lord, wash me just now. And Shall we pray? Father God, we come before you in all humility and yes, Lord, humbly we bow before you, God, in your presence. For you are the potter and we are the clay. And today, God, we ask that you would uh, break us, mold us, shape us, Lord, to who you want us to be. Father, we know that in your hands, O oh God, we can trust you, Lord, with the process of shaping 
for you always make something beautiful out of our lives so we entrust our lives entrust our lives to you and commit ourselves to you wholeheartedly today we thank you in jesus matchless name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org